remember that I was behind. I stood on my grind. I knew I would make it. Thought we were forever, but you know you're clever, so you would. What's up, guys? So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make your own Nummy Purple Glow Plus Shake Effect in DaVinci Resolve. This is gonna be my first editing tutorial on PC, but don't worry, I'll still be making some more mobile editing tutorials and other stuff like that. This is this is just gonna be my first um video on PC. So um, this effect I used a lot in my recent montage, Yes Sir, or Highlights Number Six, and. Um, I recently made also made a video about how I made that montage, and I wanted to in this time in this video I want to go more in depth about one of the main effects I use the nummy purple nummy purple color flash. So the first thing I want to do to make this effect is add my clip and add some velocity as well as sync up the clip. So if you guys just want to see the purple nummy flash, I'll put a timestamp up on the screen for where you can skip to that if you already know all this basic stuff. So first I'm gonna add my clip and just drag it in, and then basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the point of impact on my Clip. So basically the first frame where the damage numbers hop up above my opponent's head. So I skip forward. Alright, so I can also just, I can also zoom in a little bit and go back a little bit. I can use my arrow keys from here. Just keep pressing my right arrow key. And then right here is where the first, you can kind of see the 200 right there. So I'm just going to click on the clip and press M. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And I'm gonna make this a lot shorter because I don't need to be this long. Not nearly this long. Alright, and next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna find the beat drop where I wanna put this clip on my song. Alright, so it's gonna be around here. So I'm just gonna zoom in. As I as you guys can tell, there's like a big bump in the music right here. So I'm just gonna go over here. Click on the music and press M on my, on my keyboard to indicate a marker there. And yeah, we should be good. So now I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm just going to shorten this music. I don't need to be this long. Not nearly this long. Oops, did not mean to do that. So I'm just going to drag it to the front and add a little fade by just dragging this over to the right a little bit. And what we're going to do is we're just simply just going to line up these two clips and with the markers. So basically now our clip is synced up. Just as simple as that. Alright, and... Basically what we're going to do now is we're going to add some velocity. So for the first thing we're going to do for that is we're going to click on the clip, right click on it, and press link clips to make sure that we unlink the clip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to press on it, control R, to bring up this read time speed overlay. And then we're going to go onto the marker, press this little down arrow, add a speed point, and then change, go to the, here, I'm going to zoom a little bit so you guys can see. Go to this down arrow and change speed to 50%. And this adds a nice little slow-mo to the end of it. Um, unfortunately, I can't really show you guys because playback of DaVinci Resolve isn't too great. But you guys probably saw this in the preview clip that I put in the beginning of the video. And then, since um, I pulled my shotgun right before the kill, I can add some extra velocity, which looks really nice. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the first frame where I see my character start to pull up their shotgun. So for me, that's this frame. So I'm going to press this little down arrow again and press add speed point. And then what I'm going to want to do is zoom in a little bit. And now I'm going to go to the frame like where the shotgun is right above my character's head. So like right, right past here. So it looks something like this. And then I'm going to add another speed point. And then I'm going to change this. I'm going to change the front speed to 50%. And then change the second speed to 200%. And then I'm going to put my playhead, this little orange bar, over the blue marker. And then simply drag this middle one over to the left until this third one lines up so the clip is still synced up. So now we should be good for velocity and read time. So we're going to press Control R on the clip again. We're going to zoom out a little bit. And I can shorten this up however I want. Oops. Just going to shorten this. All right. And then basically what we're going to do now is we're going to finally get into that nummy uh, purple color flash and shake effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the clip, make sure our player is on top of it, and we're going to go into the Fusion tab. And what we're first going to do is we're going to add in our shake effect. So we're going to press control space on the keyboard. If you're on Mac, you're going to do shift space. And you're going to type in camera shake. And it's going to be this option right here. Just press add. And then once you have it here, you're just going to hold shift, click on the clip, and just drag it in. And then here's what we're going to do. So we're going to change the... These are the settings you're going to want to copy. X deviation, X deviation 0, Y deviation 0, rotation deviation 0.5. Randomness 0.7. Overall, should I keep that at 1? And I like to change this overall speed to 0.05. And then make sure you put your edges to mirror. That's one of the most important steps. 
And just to be clear, I did not come up with the, these settings for the shake effect. I found this in um, someone named Charlie FN's edit pack. It's really helpful. I'll put a link that in the description. It's really helpful for DaVinci Resolve and all of its basic uh, effects and stuff like that. So what we're going to do now is since I already see that we're on the first keyframe where the or the first frame where the numbers pop up. So I'm simply going to press this little button on the right to make it orange. And I'm going to use my arrow keys and press to the left four times. One, two, three, four. I'm going to press this little white triangle again. Move this all the way to zero. And then I'm going to press one, two, three, four to the right again. So we're back onto this original clip. And then all we do is we're going to simply drag this over until we want the shake to stop. So I'll, I'll want it to stop right here. So I'm going to press this keyframe button again and drag this down to zero. And yeah, that's our shake. So also just make sure you're pressing control, control S on your keyboard just to make sure you're constantly saving your project just in case the venture resolve crashes. And then now we're going to add our glow since we've already added our shake. So we're going to press control space on the keyboard or shift space if you're on Mac. And I'm going to type in glow. Simple as that. And I'm going to use this, this one, this glow. Yep. And actually, no, I'm going to use this other glow, S underscore glow. This is a great glow, but you can only have it if you use Sapphire plugins. So make sure you guys have that first. There are many ways to download those. Just make sure you guys find that on your own. And then we're just going to press shift space or just hold shift and drag this in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to, again, go to the first frame where we see the damage numbers pop up above our opponent's heads. So I'm just using my arrow keys. So that's this frame. Yeah, this frame, I believe. And we're going to keyframe this brightness. And then also we're just going to drag this down to around a pinkish purple color and just move around here. Whatever you guys think looks good. This is all personal preference. It can bring down the threshold. Anything I like it around a 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.5 around. And then so you can change the brightness as you want. You can have it super bright or not so bright. It's up to you guys. I like it like around three fourths of the way to the right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back two frames. One, two. And then keyframe this. Bring it down to zero. And I'm going to go back two frames to the right. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to the end where we want the thing to, uh, the glow to go away. We're going to keyframe it. And then bring it all the way down to zero. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all you guys need for your shake and glow effect. Um, uh, we can't quite see it because DaVinci Resolve playback isn't too great, but that should be it for the tutorial. Hope this guy, help this, hope this tutorial help you guys out. It's a really simple effect, but it looks super great and it makes everything just look so much better. If you guys don't have an effect on the clip, this is super easy to add. Just follow my steps and then, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. And if you guys have any questions, or any suggestions for any future editing tutorials, just leave them down in the comment section below. Or you can join my Discord. I'll have a link for that in the description down below. And you can either contact me or just write in the Discord. And I'll probably see it. And I might make that into my next video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial. And, hope to, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.